Hold it. Yeah, I was a volunteer fireman that was on the South Tower. He's the famous guy with the red, the red handkerchief. He worked for the law firm that donated this monument. Yeah, he was a volunteer fireman. Actually, went up and down the building taking people out of here. Ended up getting, ended up dying. And uh, I tell you, it's, it's, it, it was his law firm that put this up there.
side of what your experience was like down here? I mean, you know, I know, you know you, me. Many, me and you went through this. I give an education on the devastation of 9-11. I appreciate that. I look that, for man. those who don't know what used to be here. Many people come here and think only two. The only time that's true is in 1972, and they look like that black and white picture. Harry, can you please introduce yourself, brother? My name is Harry John Rowland. You call me the World Trade Center Man. On YouTube, you can Google it. I look for those who don't know. Why is it called Ground Zero? But the young ones that come here, why so many firemen died? They were doing their job. They were doing their job. So besides these towers, they must realize, huge, gigantic, enormous, watch this. You're on Staten Island. One of the fifth barrows is called the Lost Barrow, Staten Island. And you look at the World Trade Centers with the Empire State Building. Well, that's the Empire State Building, built 1931, done in 15 months. Here's your World Trade Centers. Look at the size. With the point, the Empire State Building can only touch the 88th floor of the World Trade Centers. 110 mark floors, 135 stories in size. It's underground, many people don't realize what was underground. Six levels, nine different chain lines, 2,000 car garage. There were 88 stores in the mall. So when the first tower struck, most New Yorkers don't look up. What was next? Helicopter. What is this? How could it be? They come to look at the towers, and the first tower struck at the North Tower. Well, in 16 minutes, the second plane gets striked, and now both towers are on fire like that. You realize now, it's, it's no accident. A lot of New Yorkers only know one way to work, one way home. One way to the desk, one way to the bathroom. That's not good. They don't have a plan B, a plan C, a plan D. History. Others have come here have no idea that all the glass is smashed with four blocks, because the towers come down to bedrock and blast out. It goes down as far as it can go, bedrock. If there's 110 stories, it's only 90 feet to bedrock, it now overflows. Tearing all the buildings apart, doing the damage like this, and I tell the young ones this. Firemen and policemen are doing their job. A lot of first responders came in their business suits. Yep. They had other jobs. I was they on, jumped, I, they were doing and ran in here to help. I was on my second job when I came here. Of course, no time to launch my message. Never thinking that building would come down again. Well, the second tower does even more damage. Yep. Because the first tower was... It's hit lower, it's hit lower. The second tower struck and the first tower to fall. The first tower gets hit higher. There's only 10 floors from the roof of impact. 93rd floor. Yes, and a lot of people don't realize this. From east to west, you always see two. From north to south, the two towers line up and look just like one. I had a school teacher who didn't understand, so I told her, west towards California, east towards Europe, you see two towers. From north to south, the two towers one. line up and look just like one. That's me back in the day, when chrome bumpers on cars. No rap music at that time. It's not even 1979, but the two towers look like one building. It's the second tower that hits it. It's going to be the first tower to fall. Tears the other buildings up. Yeah, people don't realize it's a huge complex, not just two towers. September 11, 2001. First day, first grade, I take my son to school. Here's the picture I take that day. Beautiful, beautiful morning, not a cloud in the sky, and I said, you raise your hand as much as you can until the teacher tells you to stop. Well, what if I don't know what to say, Daddy? Say, I have a book to read out loud to the class. She'll be impressed. The first reader can read a book out loud. It's you. Somebody says the tower. What? Stop playing. It's a beautiful day outside. A building got hit. I think it's the World Trade Center. It's on fire right now. Go outside to look. I go outside to look. I see a helicopter trying to land on the roof, but he's right. Like everyone else, I'm thinking it's a freak accident. But with all the rivers around, you can crash into that building. It doesn't make any sense. It's a clear day, not a cloud in the sky. But the second plane comes in 16 minutes. Not an hour, not a half hour. The second plane does this. Run, get your son. I thought more planes are going to come. That building will fall like a domino. All this is running through my mind. And like everyone else, Got to get out of here. So the quickest way off the island is the Brooklyn Bridge. I run toward the bridge and there's thousands of people trying to get on this bridge. It's Mark not moving scene. quick enough. It's not moving fast enough for me. With my kid, I got to go another way. So I run back towards the river. The ferry boats there, they're practically empty. Hardly anyone's on them. Captain, blow your horn. They don't know to come this way. The ferry boats are blowing their horns. People are coming. But some are asking, where's the ferry boat going? Where's the ferry boat going? Both towers just got hit when you worry about where the boat's going. More planes might be inbound. Get out of here. A lot of people just standing around looking. And that building comes down without a warning. Like deer and in the headlights. It blasts out. This so many people are telling this. They're running for your life. 
You will not run with the crowd. Yes, you will. You're in fear. You'll run with the crowd like a herd of cattle, a herd of sheep. A lot of people say, oh, I do this, I do that. You don't know what you're going to do. And you actually feel this building coming down and feel that air blast into a mile high. Yes. And it's pushing out. It breaks all the glass for blocks. And many people killed in the street that I'm talking about. The homeless, the undocumented. So I asked some people, do you know what used to be here? It's well over 3,000 people. Well over 3,000. I tell you this, right now today, he knows this. When they were building this up, they figured out how many names could fit on that plaque that goes around it. They realized they start finding more people. That's right. Where are we going to put these other names at? That's right. There's still people that are being located. Still, right now today, he's right. They're adding the trees and putting plaques on the trees to say these are people that we find years after 9-11 now been identified because the DNA is now getting stronger and better, but there's some people who will realize this. Everyone's not counting that they all count. Even the ones that are dying now, yeah. like myself and, and other call. people. We have a memorial at the tribute, and they have another one at St. Paul's Chapel that we do for the ones, earthly funds who died after 9-11. Just this year, another battalion chief who was really sick, but he said he didn't feel bad to the last three years died just before the anniversary. So I look for those who don't know or don't want to you know, yeah, People like myself, my, my name will never be anywhere when I pass. So, yeah. so the last that's, part that's is this. Thing. It's going to look like this when it gets done. In less than three years, this is what it's going to look like when it's completely done. Where the two towers sat, you never put any buildings back. That's your ground zero. That's the main memorial. That's what the young ones ask. Why is it called ground zero? I tell them nothing but the truth. Believe me, I'm tell them. Give them nothing but the truth, Harry. Ground Zero is a military term, point of impact. You'll never see a sign here Nuclear written that says detonation. Ground Zero. Nuclear yes. detonation. You'll never, ever, 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 ever see a sign here written that says Ground Zero. It's a nine memorial. We call the we called it the pile when we were yes. operating it on the, the pile, the pit. Those are the names that we gave it. Uh -huh. Like guys have no idea. We can tell them. There were guys standing on this pile and their boots start to melt. They melt it. See yo! You gotta go change your boots. Why? Look at them, man. They look melting. down. Oh fire boots. Firefighter what? boots were melting. There was fire like burning that. here for six months. It was called the pal, the melted, pit, melted, zero. melted. They come here now beams. and I tell them this. The melted five new buildings steel. represent the future. But do you know the size of that big one? 1776. That number's there for that reason. I tell them this. I'm looking for America's first eye. It's Blue on Audi. the 4th of July. On the yet. Yeah. It's on the 4th of July. What year would it be in American history? That would be the building size. Now the old building was 1377. The Willis Building in Chicago, 1450. This new building, he's absolutely right, is 1776 for that reason. That's why it's called the Freedom Tower. The height of that building is 1776 for that reason. It's great knowledge. Oh yeah, tell me, what you learn? Don't say it too. 15 years. It's not true. 15 it's years. Yeah. 15 years. That's no, my buddy Harry Rowland. Yeah. Uh, we go way back. Way back. From day one. Way back, Thank man. Thank you, Harry. Okay. You know, it's just... Yeah, I'll tell you, man. I missed you on that 15th anniversary. What? I was, I was watching it. I'll People tell you. People were looking for me, and I'm looking for him. And I came back to the fire. Like that. I was here. My guy fronted you. Walked by. Went off to where did you go? I stopped by the church. I went around the other side because I know where different places he liked to go. It says his prayer stuff, even when he walked around with the flag or without the flag, he's going to yeah, stop I there. Get down here with colors, man. Yeah, I'm glad I got colors right now. Yeah. See, I took out that so I tell them, listen and learn. If you're concerned, don't be scared to ask. Don't be scared to ask. That's how many firefighters die in a day. Teach the young ones history. Don't let mystery. The Rosary is here for Father Michael Judge. Do you know the story about that? You need to know the story about the old party. Father's like grandma. God bless.
this. And you know how they do it in the military? Yeah. Like this. Like this. Like you pull it over and you pull it over. Like this. Like History, don't let it be mystery. It's a vehicle restraint system. If you don't know, ask. Install 2015, sketch and release. Hoorah!